do unto others as you have them do unto you. Sure, you've heard that saying. I'm Allie Bierman, and I'm really glad you stopped by today so I can talk about what Napoleon Hill calls the critical law of success that makes everything work. I'll talk with you about the golden rule and how I believe it's got some miswording in it, and you can watch that video by clicking right up in that box. Now, what I want to talk to you today in terms of the golden rule is looking at it as not just a theory, but as a way of life. I'm reading this book by Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill wrote a number of amazing books about success in life. And success isn't always about your finances. It's about your health, your happiness, your relationships. It's just the entire picture of your life. So he has 15 laws in there that create success. And the last one in there is about the golden rule, which of course is, and it might be said differently in different religious sects. But what it is is, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that all sounds very nice. Don't do an action towards somebody else that you wouldn't want them to do to you. How many people actually practice that? How many people actually even think about why? It's critical to practice that if you want to live the happy life, the healthy life, the successful life that you really, really want. First of all, I'm sure you've heard the whole idea, which is proven over and over again by quantum physicists, that your thoughts create your reality. So when you think a thought, it's actually impacting your own energy. If you think a bad thought about somebody, if you think a judgment about somebody, well, in order to be judging somebody else, you have to be thinking that thought about you first before you can put it out. When you think that bad thought, your energy drops low to a low frequency. You're not going to feel good. You're going to be misusing your energy. Plus, the fact that you're putting out a low energy going toward another person, anybody in the environment, not just that other person, is going to be impacted by your lower energy. And guess what? They're going to show up as the negative person, as the complaining person, as the person who makes you angry, whatever bad feeling that you created and sent out there they're going to move right into it. They don't have a choice because this is happening out of your awareness, out of their awareness, and their energy is going to plummet down to that same spot where you know them to be when you interact with them. You're hurting yourself. Whatever you put out must come back to you. That's the way the universe works. That's the way the law works. But if you pay attention to actually living the golden rule, think of it as, well, I'm not going to do anything to you that I wouldn't want you to do to me where our situations reverse. But I'm not even going to think anything about you that I don't want you or anybody else thinking about me. So what you're going to do is you're going to think a good thought. Now, our mind works like a very, very complex computer. So what you're going to do is create a folder in your subconscious mind that's a feel-good-about-other-people folder, okay? And inside that folder, you're going to place some subfolders. You're going to say nice things about people based on their appearance. You're going to say nice things about people based on their talents. You're going to say nice things about people based on on the fact that you just enjoy being around them. Notice how the folder's getting bigger and bigger. Notice that inside each folder you have documents. They're files within each folder because you're not just going to say one nice thing to one person about how good they look that day or one nice thing to only one person about how good you feel when you're being around them. Every time that you say something nice about a person, new file goes into one of the folders. It's already there. 
wow, you're building it bigger and bigger. Well, what happens is this expands is the file folder that you've got in the subconscious now about the bad things you say about people, about the negative things you just think and don't even have to say about people. You're not feeding that folder anymore. It's going to wither away. But this one's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. And what's going to happen, Napoleon Hill calls it auto-suggestion. You're going to create a way of being for yourself that you only and automatically think, say, act on good thoughts and good words about other people. In doing that, you are raising your own energy up here. You're raising their energy up here. And guess what? People will always show up the way you expect them to show up. And they will show up at an energy vibrating in harmony with yours. You want your world to be great? Just think about how great other people are. Send them love. Everybody can use more love. So think about somebody in your world who you wish they showed up a different way for you. You wish that they were more pleasant or you wish that they didn't complain. Or you wish they didn't walk around with a scowl on their face. And this week, every time you're about to see them or talk to them, or even when you just think about them when they're not there, think a thought of love, a happy, a pleasant thought that you'd like them to think that way about you. Notice what happens after doing that for only a week. Notice what happens the next time you see that person. Better yet, notice what happens the next time you think about that person after just one short we, you'll be surprised, you'll be pleased, you want to continue it and come back here and scroll down there, leave us a comment and share exactly what happened. If you found something useful today, please go on down there, click like or share, you can do it up there too. And make sure that the people you know who are thinking about how can I achieve success in my life, remembering success has a personal definition for each person. Send them over to take a look at this quick video. You just might change somebody's life. I'll see you next time. This is Allie Bierman.